A man has been missing for about four years now. But his family hasn't lost hope. They say he's out there somewhere, and you can earn, earn up to $1,000 in cash if you have the answers. Greg Glover has Crime Stoppers next. The last time family and friends saw Noah Davis, it was the summer of 2014. And they're looking for your help finding out what happened, whether it be good or bad. There's Crime Stoppers Reward Cash waiting if you can help resolve this case. Here's Greg Glover. Well, this young man from North Georgia was on the verge of a new start. Did he fall into trouble or did he simply run somewhere to reinvent himself? His family needs to know. Noah's mother has passed on now and so has his father. We have cash and guaranteed anonymity for you if you can let the rest of his family know he's okay or just give them a hint as to what happened to him. Noah is just like anybody, that's somebody's brother, it's somebody's son, it's somebody's friend. And if they have that information, it has to be eating at their conscience. Noah Brandon Davis has been missing going on four years now. He had borrowed a truck that he didn't return. It was found at the old Knight's Inn in East Ridge. That was the key. The truck was found in early August of 2014. Jason Stevens says as the days passed, then the weeks, it was evident Noah wasn't simply away. Uh, his mother even passed away and you know he did not show up for the funeral. So, um, I mean, it, it's just out of character for him not to make contact with anybody in the family. In the year or two before his disappearance, Stevens had been getting to know his half-brother better. Noah was, a, was always in a good mood, a laughing person. Um, I think he held the characteristic that my dad had, and that was to help other people. And while Noah may have lived a rough life, in 2014, he was just about to turn things around. And Noah did was in and out of, of jail system. But my dad actually got all the money that he had put together and Noah was looking forward to going to Carter's Hope Rehab. And that's when he went missing. His family fears the worst, but we're hoping for the best. Maybe he just wanted to disappear. Maybe you've heard from him or of him since the summer of 2014. So we're asking um, if you have any little bit of information, it may be you saw him driving or you talked to him on Facebook Messenger, you received a text message, or you saw him in Florida. It could be any little bit of information that you have that may provide the information that Catoosa County Sheriff's Office needs. If you do know something but you're hesitant to get involved, we will never ask your name. You'll be issued a case ID number with the tip you provide. Tell us what you know. If you help resolve this case, you'll earn up to $1,000 and a clear conscience. Call tonight, 698-3333. That number is manned 24-7. We want to hear from you. David Patrice.